here we are in the kitchen. Uh, like I said, I uh, got that one squirrel, but this is a little bit more squirrel. This is six squirrels in here uh, in total. And so there was five before and pretty much it's from this past season. I had it in the fridge and I was being prepared in case I went hunting this morning and didn't get something like what happened, uh, just except for that one, a dog sneezing, but um, must be the pepper. But this is real simple, real easy. I love to do it. It's not a quick thing to make, but it's very simple and very easy. So I got my squirrel. So all I did last night is I took some, some salt, ground it up, put it in there, just whatever you think is right. If you're not a huge salt fan, don't put as much. Um, pepper, pretty much how I tell is enough for me is I cover the top, cover the top with pepper, just where it's got a good layer of it on there. I take onion powder, put it on top. And then overnight, what I'll do is I'll just pretty much mix it up, massage it in there, put it in the fridge, let it sit overnight. Next day, that's what you got right there. It's all, all together and all that good stuff. The only thing I'm gonna add today is I got my minced garlic and I love this. I found this uh, not too long ago. It's roasted garlic and herb. Weber makes it. it it is really good. It goes on chicken. It goes on fish. It goes on just about everything. I don't put it on steak. Um, don't put a ton on steak, but this stuff is amazing. But I like to put it on squirrel, rabbit, turkey, uh, you name it. I probably put it on there except for beef. Uh, so what we're going to do first, turn around on our stove, extra virgin olive oil, put it down like that. All right, we're gonna wait for that to heat up and we're gonna put our squirrel in there. And I'll show you next. All right, so you got this coated, put that in. Dump all of it in there. Don't touch the skillet while you're doing this and burn yourself. That is not in the direction. So that squirrel's gonna take up a lot of that oil that's on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do, put a little bit on top. Plus that, that olive oil or extra virgin olive oil, it takes flavor of whatever you're mixing it with really good. You just wanna spread this out evenly. So it'll all cook in about the same amount of time. All right, and next. While that's cooking, you wanna take your Weber roasted garlic seasoning, put it on top, just coat it on top or right like that. I love this stuff, try it out before. I'm one of these people, I don't use cups, half a cup, an ounce, measuring cup, this or that. I am just a pure by, I know what spices I like and I just, go by sight. I cover it up pretty good like that. Let one side fry and then turn it over here in just a second. Well guys, I got to put this on hold for a second. I just got a call from one of those bear hunters that I talked to and they said they've got one treat and the guy asked me if I wanted to shoot it. So um, I told him, yeah, sure. I appreciate it and uh, appreciate him letting me shoot and um, have the meat. I do appreciate that a ton. So, uh, um, gonna head to uh billy was his name uh i'm gonna head to billy and yeah let's go try to get us a bear all right guys so we're back in the kitchen um uh, i want to go ahead and say a special thanks to uh, uh matt humphreys daryl humphreys billy cockerel all you guys mr horton um that allowed me you gave me a call you're like hey you want a bear and i was like yeah i got a tag so um went got a bear they let me shoot it and uh uh i if you can give me a like in here just for a like for for matt and them for being so kind to let me uh kill a bear 
Um, they did a lot of the work. I didn't really do a whole lot. So besides just walking up that way, uh, Matt helped me get the, uh, he helped me drag it out too. And uh, special thanks. I mean, I can't say enough. Uh, just thank you so much. But, uh, yeah, we're going to get back to cooking squirrel. And, uh, but also, uh, here's a little short clip. And you'll see see the bear up in the tree here. But to watch the rest, you're gonna have to watch the other video where uh, we go and get the bear. But little spoiler alert: we do get the bear. But hope you enjoy the footage. Alrighty, so we're back to frying it. Had to turn off the stove, so it cooked a little bit while it was gone. We're going to turn it over here. And all you want to do here is you just want to cook it. Cook it thorough. Just get it cooked through. Because this isn't the part where you're eating it. That comes later. I'm going to turn the heat off. And so what you want to do, just turn that heat off, let it simmer. Break it apart, because this, this right here is where I'm just breaking it apart and getting it all in its own slivers and stuff. This, after this part right here, it's going to be the most time consuming. It doesn't take long, it's just this is the longest part, probably, I would say. So, yeah, we're going to let this cool down and yeah, show you the next step. All right. So now we've let this squirrel cool a little bit. What I'm going to do next, put that right there. I like to cut it in just slices, real thin, thin slices there. And this is the part that I was telling you about that is kind of time consuming i mean it doesn't take forever but you can just grab it in pieces let's do that oh also i forgot to tell y'all um i i cut as much meat as i can just off the bone um you can cook it with the bone a lot of people pressure cook it um you could use an instapot um I mean, it, it's totally, totally your call. As you see, just dumping it in the crock pot. So I brought my crock pot over so you could kind of see in it. So what I use, I take cream of mushroom, just great value of the Walmart brand. And I put about half of the can already, like the big cans, the family size. I put it in the bottom and then I take the rest I put it on top and just cover it up. Cover it up as good as I can get it because I'll show you the rest of what we do here in a second. So the garlic, get some more garlic. Literally I just use one spoonful, a whole spoonful, and I just evenly divide it up all over throw that in the dishes and then take a little bit more of the the season because the season when you cook it it really gets in there and really good so i got a phone call from my brother and i wasn't able to continue on but the last thing i i did was i took a little bit of crushed red pepper give it gives it a kick for me and I put it on top just a little bit. And then I fill up that uh, cream of mushroom can halfway. And I put, put the milk, I fill it up with milk. And uh, 2% is what I use. You can use whole, but put it around the edge and just let it sink down in there and just like really absorb into the squirrel. Give it more cream, uh, creaminess to it. And yeah, now we're just going to let it sit there. I'll probably come back here in about three hours 
stir it up, let it cook for another probably one hour, uh, just because the squirrel's actually already done where I fried it uh, in the skillet and everything. So uh, give it about four hours and it'll be done. We're going to let it sit in here and yeah, here in three hours, stir it up and then wait another hour. Stay tuned. Well, most of it's kind of fallen down in there. It's almost pretty mixed well together already. But yeah, so just want to mix it up. And now we're going to take it and turn it all the way to just keep warm. And let it sit for another hour. Put it right back and we'll come right back to it. All right, so now it's done. I'm gonna turn it all the way to off, let it thicken up a little bit, and boil your water. I'm gonna, you can do rice or you can do egg noodles. I'm gonna do egg noodles. So we'll get that right here in just a little bit. We got this done. The egg noodles are finished. Got them in the bowl here. We'll take this, put it on top of that. And we're gonna have it looking good, just like that. It looks so good. Let it cool down a little bit. But yeah, we're going to eat it up. Very good. A squirrel is not chewy at all. It's absolutely amazing, but... I hope you enjoyed this. I know a couple of you were wondering how I prepared it. It's just one of my recipes, but it's a good one for like if you're wanting to meal prep and get several meals and uh, for the next several days. Sorry, I had a uh, I'm watching a uh, dinner and a movie. Well, showing a movie, but uh, no, it's a really good one in my opinion. I love it. Very, it's a little time process, but. In my opinion, very simple, very easy, not hard. So I hope you enjoyed this. But uh, like, comment, and subscribe like I always say. Uh, when you can do that, it helps me tremendously. I really do appreciate it. So till next time, it's been a very eventful day. I'm going to enjoy this bowl of food because, uh, yeah, it's been a very eventful day. Uh, but for the good. So y'all take care. Until next time, I'm Andy B with Beaner Outdoors. Y'all get out there.